and welcome to the Scrapbook Pals YouTube channel. My name is Terry, and today I will be sharing a fun little card that I created using some products from Lawn Fawn. So let's get started. Okay, so here is a look at the two products that I will be showcasing today. The first one here is from Lawn Fawn and it's called Build a Cabin. And the second one is also from Lawn Fawn and it's a smaller stamp set called So Damn Much. And I just love it because the beavers are just so adorable and any of the Build a Die set from Lawn Fawn is just awesome. It makes scene building so much easier. Okay, so let's get started on our card. Okay, so to start off my card, I am going in with white cardstock. This cardstock that I'm using is alcohol marker friendly because I do plan on coloring the images in with alcohol markers. And I am also using an alcohol friendly ink pad. The one that I like to use here is a Memento Tuxedo Black. This one is such a great ink for Copic coloring. Okay, so I did have to stamp that out a few times just to make sure I got a clear impression. And I wanted a few extra of the cattails. So I went in with my acrylic block and using the same ink, I went ahead and stamped that a few times on the cardstock. Okay, so now it's time for coloring. And like I mentioned earlier, I will be coloring the images in with Copic markers. So to start off with the coloring process, I like going in with the lightest shade first. So I like coloring all of the images. Well, not all of the image, but the main image that I will be using with the lighter shade, then going in with the darker shade to create shadows. I like going in first with the lighter shade to kind of make the paper wet because I noticed that it helps with the blending process. Then going in with the mid-tone, I blend out the darker shade and going back in with the lighter shade, I blend it all together. I found that this way helps blend everything nicely. I know a lot of people coloring style is different. So your way of coloring might be completely different than mine's and that's okay. So I went ahead and finished coloring the beavers and now I'm going in with some green shades and just coloring the cattails. Okay, so off screen, I went ahead and die cut the build a cabin set out of white cardstock. You can definitely cut this out individually with different color cardstocks, but I decided that I wanted to color it in. I know I like to color everything in, so I thought that was the perfect choice. So for the accessories or the add on of the cabin, I decided to go with the color green. So as you can see here, I'm just coloring in with a light shade of green. I did use two color greens, so a lighter shade and a darker shade. Again, I will link all of the information down below if you're interested in the colors that I use today. So after I color in all of the accessory green, I went in with a lighter shade of brown and colored the cabin itself. And I did the same technique as I did with the beavers. So I went in with the lighter shade first, then going in with the darkest shade to create shadows, and then the mid-tone to blend everything out, and then going back with the lighter shade to blend it all in. And the door, I wanted to keep it a little dark, so I went in with the darkest shade that I used for the cabin to color in the door. And here I'm just assembling the pieces to make sure that I liked the way it looks. And once I was happy with the way that it looks, I went in with liquid adhesive and some foam squares, put everything together. And I really like doing this part. It's very therapeutic for me and I'm pretty sure it is for you as well. Okay, so now let's talk about the background. So I'm going in with white color cardstock as well as this stencil here. This one's from My Favorite Things. And I'm trying to figure out how I wanted the direction to go. So here you can see that I'm just moving it around and once I was happy with the layout, I went ahead and taped it down to my work surface. Now going in with a stencil, this one's from Lawn Fawn. This is a cloudy stencil and I'm using Distress Oxide inks and Tumble Glass. And I'm going in with my blending brush and blending out a cloud scene. I'm only blending it out on the upper half of the cardstock, and you can see that I'm going back and forth and using my cabin that I die cut out earlier just to get a better idea of where I should stop. 
And once I figured that out, I went ahead and got some green colored ink and blended that down towards the bottom of the cardstock. So what I'm trying to do is create a scene for my cabin to sit on. So now that I'm done, I'm removing the stencil and you can see here that it fits nicely with my cabin scene. Okay, so I went ahead and die cut all of the images that we colored in earlier. So you could see here my little beaver couple and along with some cattails. I am going to put this onto my card panel. But before I do that, I want to add a little more interest onto the background scene. So going in with a stitch rectangle die, this one is also from Lawn Fawn. I went ahead and ran that through my die cutting machine. I really like a simple stitch background on my card panel because it creates a nice bit of interest. So now for the sentiment, I'm going in with the sentiment from the stamp set. And this one is just so cute. It says, I love you so damn much. And I thought that was so adorable with the beavers. I went ahead and stamped that down with black ink. Now it's time to try to figure out a placement for everything. So here I'm going in with the cabin and the beaver and also the cattails. I'm just trying to figure out a layout. And once I was happy with the layout, I went ahead and added liquid adhesive along with foam squares and placed that on top of the card panel. And also looking at this, I thought that the window needed some more interest. So going in with a yellow colored Copic marker, I went ahead and added some color behind the window. So this is creating some light as if someone's inside the cabin. Okay, and so to create a little bit more interest, I went in with some gloss. This one is from Nouveau, this is Crystal Glaze, and I added that to the window to give it a little bit of dimension. And of course, I like going in with my white gel pen just to add details and highlights throughout the card panel. And also there's a little heart stamp that's in the stamp. I decided to stamp a few hearts on top of the cabin. And I went in and colored that with pink Copic markers. Okay, so off screen, I went ahead and trimmed down a green colored cardstock, just slightly larger than the card panel. And I went ahead and adhered the two together with liquid adhesive. And finally, I adhered that onto a top folding card base. And this pretty much completes the card. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and please don't forget to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.